Yes, welcome to What They Want Said podcast coming to you live this morning. Uh, did you guys get a chance to see the Anthony Joshua Francis uh, fight? Uh, you know, man, that's why I think, you know, both of these guys, is, you know, combats. I think that, you know, the boxers should stay in their per, in their perspective sports, and I think the UFC guys should stay in their, in their perspective sports. You know, they're both fighters. You know, it's just a different form of fighters. And, you know, once again, it was on display last night. I mean, Anthony Joshua is a, you know, he's an Olympian. And, you know, he's been doing this his whole life. So, you know, and then he had respect for Francis. You know, so that's why the fight ended the way it ended. And, uh, you know, Tyson Fury, he fights down to the level of his opponent. That's why you've seen a different kind of fight. Yes, Francis has um, knockout power, you know, but in boxing, it's more than that, you know. So you have to understand what boxing is all about and the things of that nature. But, you know, I, I, you know, I, I love the excitement that he's brought to boxing. You know, he's did a great job. So you can't look down on on Francis because he lost. I mean, he crossed over to a whole nother sport. So you got to be you got to respect that. You know, he made a bunch of money, something he didn't make in the UFC. Um, so he came and, you know, he done, you know, I mean, he could probably go back to the PFL. But, you know, he done, he made 20 million for this fight. And I forgot whatever he made for the Tyson Fury fight. So within two pro boxing matches, this man has done made 30, 40 million dollars. So, you know, he go back now, you know, he go back and still be king of, you know, of the MMA. You know, until, you know, I like to see him in uh, John Jones fight. And, you know, I like to see Tyson Fury, you know, and Joshua Fighter, either, you know, Usyk and, and uh, Joshua for the undisputed titles. So, you know, we have all this stuff coming on. And also, we have Terrence Crawford moving up two weight divisions to fight Chris Eubank Jr. from from England. Wow. Terrence Crawford is once again daring to be great. What else is this man going to do to make it, you know, it's impossible for anybody to supersede him, the things that he's doing in our era? Terrence Crawford is one of the greatest fighters in, in, that we've seen in our era, and you got to give him respect for the things that he does. You know, I've spoken with, with his trainer, Bo Mack. You know, he teaches the fundamentals of a lot of things that I teach also as a fundamental. If you don't know the fundamental of boxing, then you won't be that successful. He teaches his guys that, and you see, and it shows in the ring. You know, even, you know, you see you see the work with Keyshawn Davis that Bo Mack is doing. He don't get the credit that he deserves. But, you know, Bo Mack, Bo Mack is a hell of a trainer. I've talked to him personally, and uh, we've shared some knowledge with one another. And Terrence Crawford, man, he's just daring to be great, you know. And so you got to respect that. And so we had that coming up. Then we had a pit bull, you know, uh, pit bull and Roley and, you know, Tim, Tim Zoo. And Keith Thurman, you know, this month in, in my city, Las Vegas, Nevada. So we have a lot of different things going on. Boxing is jumping off, man. This, the boxing is back at the peak again. And I think, you know, these guys, uh, you know, Javante Davies, he need to fight Devin Haney. You know, these guys need to fight each other. You know, uh, you know change the, you know, the mental state of boxing. If you lose, that don't mean it's over, brother. That just means you got to go back to the drawing board to beat somebody that, that was better than you that night. And so that's why I want boxing to be back like in the old days, man, when these, when these dudes was like superstars. You know, and Javante Davis has really done made, you know, put his face on the face of boxing. You know, he sell a lot of arenas. He really does. But, you know, I mean, him and Frank Martin, that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a good fight. You know, uh, I'm glad, you know, these guys, is, you know, is, is suiting up with whoever's supposed to be the best. And then, you know, you have Shakur out there, which he didn't look good in his last fight. You know, he was injured, you know, uh, so, you know, I talked to one of his trainers. So, you know, uh, I think Shakur is a hell of a talent. You know what I'm saying? He just got to come out and, you know, and make a make a great showing of himself in his next fight and be right back in the thick of things. So, you know, he can't, you know, he can't let, you know, what happened because, you know, it was a bad performance. Everybody have a bad night at the office. Anything we do, whether it's us, you know, uh, bringing this stuff to you live, whether it's somebody on the basketball court, the baseball field, football field. I mean, it's, you know, we all have a bad night. And so I think that's what happened with Shakur. Uh, you know, he was one of the hottest things out there. All you got to do is come back with a great show, and he'd be right back into the thick of things. But, yeah, man, uh, I just want to thank you guys for continuing to support me, uh, to continue to subscribe to me, and we will be going live more now. Uh, you know, my partner was, like I said, under the weather, so he had to have surgery. So, you know, we, we're going to be reaching back out, doing a lot of live interviews because we have a big, you know, a fight coming up this month. So um, you guys tune into what they won't say. We, we will be bringing the fight live here from Las Vegas. 
and you know continue support us and we appreciate everything we appreciate the views we appreciate everything we're growing rapidly and that's that i want to thank my fans and supporters out there that's been supporting what they want said podcast and let's ask you guys continue to help us and continue to grow and grow with us and until next time you guys stay you know peace to you guys and guys have a great day peace what they want said podcast <laughs>